What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 here today. Continue with the Madden 17 projected roster video series where today we accomplish one of two things. Either one, you're going to get a quick look at what the actual Madden 17 rosters will look like. Or two, you're going to not want to get Madden 17. You're going to want to stay on Madden 16. You're going to be able to download the best community rosters possible at the completion of this series, which is where I... One, I want to look for some comments in the comment section below, but any tweaks that may need to be made to these rosters. So, uh, yeah, look for that. Uh, also, 40 likes on this video, and I'll upload the next one immediately. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're looking for 15,000 subs by the time Madden 17 comes out. I know we can reach that, so spread the word. Today, we are looking at the New York Football Giants. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough video. We'll, we'll power through it, though. Uh, jumping to the quarterback position, we gave Mr. Eli Manning an 88 overall. I uh, know it's probably going to be, I was looking at all the ratings, and I thought, you know, between the two stars, that might be the most I get shit for, but I think 88 is fair, uh, his turnovers were, you know, Eli Manning-esque, so that's why I didn't give him something in the 90s, 6-10 and 10 as a starter, 4,400 passing yards, 35 touchdowns to 14 picks, so I mean, classic Eli Manning kind of stat line there, uh, so that's why I gave him an 88, 34 years old, it's pretty much now or never for them to make another push, um, they have the weapons to do it, though, with Odell Beckham and, um, and, um, no one. That's pretty much it. As much as I want to say it. That's pretty goddamn good tandem, if I do have to say, say so myself, uh, on offense. Eli Manning and Mr. Odell Beckham Jr. So, yeah, the 88 for Eli. Let me know if I need to tweak that enough, but I don't, I don't think. You're going to have to really, really hard press me to make me make that change there. I think 88 is fair enough. Oh, okay, the running back position we gave Rashad Jennings an 82 overall last year, 863 rushing yards, as well as three rushing touchdowns, as well as 30 receptions and almost 300 receiving touchdowns to add that. So, I mean, you know, not an amazing running back, but definitely capable enough. Shane Vereen, we gave him an 82 as well. Uh, Dark was 75. Andre Williams, 74. I mean, they just got a fuck ton of running backs here. So, uh, but I still would say uh, Jennings and Vereen are the cream of the crop for that Giants backfield. Uh, in the fullback position, Will Johnson, 71. They also get Nikita Wicklock, who plays defensive tackle slash fullback with a 75. Look at the wide receivers. We gave Odell Beckham Jr. a 92 overall. We gave um, 15 starts last year, 96 receptions, so definitely the stats were down a little bit. Uh, 1,400 yards and 13 receiving touchdowns. I already know. People are like, oh, my God, he's a 98. Come on, give him a 97 at least. I'm saying 92. He's definitely, you know, one on the out year. I think uh, Antonio Brown and Julio Jones and formerly Calvin Johnson were the the cream of the crop. And I think he's like the top of the next group of wide receivers that you could talk about. But I gave him a 92. I could see maybe bumping it up a grade or two if there's an overwhelming demand for it. But I think 92 is fair where it is. Uh, Victor Cruz finally may play, so we're giving him an 80. And uh, Dwayne Harris with a 77 and highly recruited. Uh, player from the University of Oklahoma, Sterling Shepard. I believe they got him in the second round. Uh, he's going to try to make a splash there. And kind of bump out Dwayne Harris for that third receiver spot. At the tight end position, Larry Donnell, we gave him a 79. Uh, eight starts last year, 30 receptions, 220 yards, and two touchdowns. Uh, offensive line quickly. We go Eric Flowers at left tackle with uh, 72. Left guard, Justin Pugh, 88. Very good player. At center, uh, Weston Richburg, we gave him a 90. One of the top young centers in the NFL. Uh, right guard, John Jerry, 76. And right tackle, Marshall Newhouse, a 70. So, I mean, the tackle positions are a little bit suspect, but the interior of that offensive line is very, very good. Uh, look at the defense side of the ball. Jason Pierre-Paul, Mr. JPP himself with that fucking the fingerless assassins, 89 overall. I uh, was still able to make some pretty good plays in his eight starts. We gave him one second. He had uh, 25 total tackles. Maybe that could be knocked down a couple. Maybe I'm being a little bit too generous. Uh, but I think 89, you know, he, he'll probably bounce back to that. Uh, he just needed to get a couple games under his belt, getting used to his new situation there uh, after losing a digit. But I think 89 is fair, but I definitely could see that being knocked down a little bit if you guys think it should. Uh, we got a right defensive end, uh, Olivier Verdon, coming over from the Miami Dolphins. I think they this is the dumbest contract of all fucking pre, uh, off season. I think they, what, they give him 60 some million dollars guaranteed. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This guy, had, he's not a bad player, don't get me wrong, but I mean, you, you have to just watch a couple of Miami Dolphins games. You can see every team was, he was getting one-on-one -on -one every time because they were doubling up on Nob and Sue on the interior. So I think he was a little bit of product of the players around him. Uh, definitely wasn't a bad signing. Don't give me that. Like, he will be able to replicate what they were losing in Robert Ayers, who had nine sacks last year. But still, ah, that was a badass contract right there. Not badass in, like, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin's badass, but badass is like a fucking chick with a flat ass badass. Uh, look at the interior. I actually like both these pickups. Uh, well, well, there's only one really pickup, but I like both these players a lot. Damon Harrison, uh, surprise. I, they play, don't they play 
uh, 4-3. It is, he is a 3-4 nose tackle. Uh, 88 overall coming over from the Jets, but still, he, they'll make it work. He's an absolute run stuffer. But Jonathan Hakins may be my favorite player on the New York Giants. Absolute monster. He gave him an 85 overall uh, last year. Not Only had nine starts. I think he had some sort of injuries. He didn't have any sacks. But in 2014, he was an absolute beast. I think this is going to be a great interior for the Detro uh, for the uh, New York Giants for sure. Uh, look at the left outside linebacker, Devin Kennard. We gave him a 79 overall last year. Nine starts and 57 tackles. I expect him to have a big role. Also, Mark Herzog there, formerly Boston College. He definitely will contribute. Uh, look at the middle. We gave Keenan Robinson coming from the Washington Redskins. Kind of snatching him. A uh, 76. I think he's a very underrated talent. and can contribute. Can you develop and become a legit uh, three-down linebacker in the NFL? Uh, Brinkley there with a 75. Shepard, 71. Unga, 68. He had a couple big games there. Three starts. I fear I picked him up in fantasy in my IDP, actually. Uh, look at it. The right outside linebacker, JT Thomas the third. We gave him a 77 overall. Uh, last year, JT Thomas only had 11 starts and uh, just shy of... Uh, 40, what's that, 40, 50 tackles, but uh, when healthy, he is a very good producer. Uh, look at the cornerback sec secondary situation they got here. DRC in 88 overall. Uh, last year, 15 starts, 3 interceptions. One of those was a turn back for a touchdown. 13 pass deflections, and holy shit, he actually can tackle. DRC can tackle almost 60 tackles. I'm fucking mind blown. And in Philly, this guy tackled like a newborn infant. But, uh, yeah, the Giants secondary last year was incredibly boomer bust. You're either going to get a big touchdown against them or they were going to uh, intercept it and make a big turnover either for a touchdown or put the offense in great field position. So they definitely tried to improve that by adding Janoris Jacobs from the L.A. Rams, who's an 85. I actually really like him. North Alabama, but just be honest. He's a Florida Gator. He's an absolute animal Florida. I uh, wasn't too happy with the contract. I mean, happy for him. And happy for the Eagles, because I think they overpaid him. I don't think that was a great contract at all. But they needed to improve that secondary. And then... They got Eli Apple with the first round pick. Some people are still calling that kind of a shitty pick. I'm one of those for sure. I think they took him a couple picks way too high, especially when Vernon Hargraves is still on the board. That was very shocking. But uh, still, I mean, you can definitely see their the desire to improve their secondaries there. And we'll see what happens when they get out there on the on the field. No more Prince of Mukamara there. Uh, look at free safety, Landon Collins, 76 overall. Last year, 16 starts, one interception, nine pass deflections, and over 100 total tackles. So, I mean, another great young playmaker. Hopefully him, Jenkins, and uh, Eli Apple can form. A, that's, that's, I'll be content to saying they're just good. Don't, don't form a great secondary, just for me as an Eagles fan. But uh, they can definitely have all the potential in the world to have a dominant secondary. Uh, strong safety, Cooper Taylor, 72 overall. Not much to really write home about him. Uh, kicker Josh Brown at 92, very solid kicker, very reliable, and punter Brad Wing with a 72 overall. So there you have it, guys. Those are projected Madden 17 ratings for the New York Giants. As always, 40 likes on this video, and I'll upload the next one. New to the channel, please subscribe. Looking for 15,000 subs by the time Madden 17 comes out. And that'll do it for me here today, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out.